Not really, quite the opposite, unfortunately. So this really is a setback. Uh, it's uh, particularly strong in manufacturing. We've seen problems in the sector for a long time, but now uh, it's clear that this seems to be continuing over the summer. Uh, so companies are telling us the current business situation is bad and they expect uh, no good news in the months to come. Uh, the order backlog is declining further. And uh, it's particularly dark in the investment goods industry, suggesting that uh, companies in Germany aren't investing and that that's bad news for the medium term development. What we actually need in Germany is more investment and we're getting less and less. But uh, when it came to the budget that the coalition government finally agreed on after months and months of wrangling, there is a little bit of investment in there because the finance minister said this is not an austerity budget. Is it in your view? Well, it is certainly not an austerity budget, but uh, at the same time, it's not ambitious enough uh, to breathe life into the German economy. And uh, of course, the issues facing German companies and the reason for this stagnation is maybe not enough, not uh, the, the budget or not fiscal policy. Fiscal policy is uh, certainly not expansionary, but there are these structural factors, a declining labor force, high taxes, um, a lot of regulation, the uh, regulatory burden, bureaucracy is still increasing. Uh, this is because a lot of European legislation is only coming into force now and confronting companies with more and more regulation. Uh, and these are issues that cannot be addressed by the budget. It can't be addressed from the fiscal front. What about the monetary policy front? Because we got that first rate cut from the ECB, more in the offing potentially in the second half of the year. Would that help the German economy and most importantly, the Mittelstand? Uh, I think it has helped a little bit, but the, the, the rate cuts have been priced in relatively early. So in, if we look at market interest rates, we have seen a decline at the beginning of the year when these rate cuts were priced in, but since then, not much has happened. So, so far, uh, what the ECB has done uh, has been expected by markets. I think further support would uh, require a surprise cut. Uh, currently, two further small cuts are priced in in markets. So if the ECB did uh, three or more, that would help. Uh, but if the ECB sticks to its plans, um, there will be no particular impact on the German economy, I'm afraid. What about the boost for Germany, specifically for the consumers who have suffered so much from the high energy prices, from the falling inflation? Energy price prices are way down. Would that give a little bit of a sentiment boost, at least? Yeah, that's one of the puzzles. Uh, disposable incomes are growing. They are growing more quickly than inflation. So real incomes are growing, but consumers don't spend. They save more, uh, but they don't spend it. That suggests they are worried about the future and they are preparing for difficult times. And that keeps the economy back. There's a lack of trust, a lack of confidence uh, also with consumers, not just with investors, but also with consumers.